Welcome back everybody to the workshop again and today we've got a tool review of the Trend Air Shield Pro. That's this face protection and respiratory protection for dust particles. Um, now we all know that this situation this mask and these goggles, nobody likes them, they steam up, as you can see, they're already steaming up, you can't see correctly, look, steaming up, I haven't got a clear vision, and this is what you're always up against when you wear a respirator and goggles, so I wanted to get away from that. I did some research on the internet and I looked for, in my price range of what I wanted, um, and I found I stumbled across the Trend Air Shield Pro. This comes in at, well, I bought it for £199 off Amazon. You can get it cheaper if you go direct to the Trend website, um, which I should have done. Um, I think on there they're 175 or 179 pounds. Um, it comes with a European plug adapter. We all know what one of them looks like. It also comes with a UK plug adapter, which is in the house. We don't need to show you that. It comes with that. It also comes with a an air measuring device. I'm not 100% sure what that's called, but it's, I think, a barometer, I'm not sure, but that's that. And it also comes with a rechargeable battery pack, which is located, all you do to open this uh, mask is thumbs, push in and lift up with the fingers. Very simple. The battery pack is located in the back there, all you do, just slide it out. It's all encased, all enclosed, brilliant. Just slot it back in, away you go. Um, it also comes with a, a bag. I would have thought for the price, it would have come with a nice um, cotton bag or something like that, something a bit more substantial for storing this item because it is an expensive item and you don't want it getting broken. Um, so that for me is a bit cheap, um, but that I would say is the only thing. Now, no endorsement through Trend. Trend don't know I exist. They probably never know I'll exist. Um, so yeah, I'm, this is not a paid review or advertisement. So we'll just get that clear now. And we're gonna jump straight into it and tell you about the front of the face mask itself. Um, it, co it comes with a disposable protector on the front. You just lift them off, peel them off, and once they're scratched, you replace them. It does not come with any other replacements. Um, so you would, on checkout, or that is an op optional extra. Same with the, um, the filters. The filters on the top here, they just pull out, very simple, he says, they just pull out like that. If you've got two prongs, two teeth on the side, you just locate them back into the position on there and slot that in and that's them. This delivers 170 litres of clean filtered air per minute. So it brings the air in. Let's just close that off. It brings the air in through the vents on the top. It brings it then over the top through the filter system, through the two filters there. It then brings it through the top and at the top of the visor, you've also got um, vents along the top and then it delivers that 170 liters of clean filtered air and it is also cooled. It'll be the temp uh, pr more the temperature of what the the, the atmosphere is around you. It is a bit cool because I have it about 25 degrees in this workshop and when it can get a bit hot. So the atmospheric temperature around you, that, that's what it brings into the, um, 
into the mask but it will come slightly cool um so that's that that's the filters um i think they're about 10 12 pound or something like that for replacements not very expensive but i will be blowing these out uh with an air compressor once i've finished with them uh to get a bit more life out of them so that's the filters we've showed you the battery pack and another thing at the back of the battery pack we have next to the on off switch we have the charging point so that's where you would charge it right in the back there which you don't need to take it out you just plug it straight into the back of the unit and away you go now the charging unit when you first when this first arrives you need to charge it initially for 24 hours then after that it lasts for eight hours the battery life lasts for eight hours i have used this now for nearly eight hours i've been using it in a couple of hour sittings each time when i've been turning on the lathe um this for me which is, has opened my eyes and saved my eyes and saved my face on a couple of occasions one occasion was the other day i was turning on the lathe a piece of oak came off the lathe spinning at uh, about 1200 rpms and i saw it come off the lathe and it hit me straight across where the where your glasses would probably finish at the top here so across there and no undoubtedly i would have definitely had a cut or something or something embedded into the top of my head so that did save me it just bounced straight off they are quite um impact resi uh, resistant really uh, as, as far as i can see because when that happened the visor didn't get scratched it didn't get cracked it didn't get broken and i was close proximity to the mask um i would probably say um not e um, perhaps not even a meter away half a meter away as i'm looking down at the lathe the lathe's there in front of me and it came straight up smack smack bang straight in the forehead so we've gone through the battery pack we have gone through the filters and how to how to put them back in the peel off um the face protect the mask protector they just peel off i'm not going to peel this one off because uh, it's not done yet and you can that is an option that's an extra that you do need to buy those replacements i think they come in a pack of 10 um so and another thing they come uh, uh, it doesn't come with it uh, an optional extra is the ear defense which are low which just slot in these two side grooves here on the side they would just slot in there they're about 30 odd pounds they are so if you want to invest in them or you've already got your own um but they do sell them in screw fix um i think it's screw fix the tool station one of the two i think both um and it also another optional extra you can get with this face mask is an, another docking station for the battery to charge it in i'm not bothered about that um the only way i would really be bothered about that is if i was doing production work and i was using this as a full-time job and i needed this to be operational all the time i would take the battery pack out I would put the other one on charge and I, I would put my new fully charged battery back in but i don't that's not a luxury i need um so i don't I, i'm not going to go down that route and once it's done depleted i'll just put it on overnight and then i'll just go back to when it's done so for me that's not going to happen so yes and it, it also comes with an air measuring device this air measuring device is very, very important to make sure that you're getting the most out of the face mask. Now, once you've got the face mask and you want to check it, the first thing that you want to do before you use this is check that the airflow is correct. Because if the airflow is not correct, then you'll put it back in the box and you'll scoot it off. Send it back, get a replacement. Now, this is placed this di this direction up you put it into the mask where the vents are at the top to check it all you do is simply turn the button on and if the correct airflow is coming through the mask that 170 liters per minute the ball will 
hit the top of the um, of the measuring device. So we'll turn it on and you should be able to see that ball go straight to the top. There we go. That's correct. 170 litres per minute of fresh, clean, filtered air to your system. So, that aside, not quite sure what that's called, a that barometer measuring device, I don't know, but I know it works. I know the mask works. I don't care about what it's what the technical term for it. Um, there is a sealed gasket around the mask itself. So once you put it on, this is a sealed gasket. And as you can see, I've got plenty of facial air and it does not allow anything into the mask. I've been turning with this for hours and hours. The whole mask has been covered, covered in dust on the outside, on the internal, uh, it, on the inside, there's been nothing. I haven't cleaned it out or anything and it's spotless. So I know there's nothing going in there. Um, there's nothing going on my lungs because I'm not coughing before. That's why I did purchase this because I was turning on the lathe and I noticed when I was going in, I was coughing, I was spluttering. I didn't feel great and it's all down to not wearing the correct PPE. This is the correct PPE if you are doing any kind of turning, any woodwork, anything that you want to protect your lungs with dust particles from timbers. This will um, go down as well to MDF particles. Um, that will filter them away. It, well, it won't filter them away. It just won't let them anywhere near you. So big, big Yes, that's what you want, um, because we all know MDF particles a big no-no in your system, very damaging to the respiratory system, so you don't want that. So this, for me, it's also got, um, if you can see that there, protection, protection on the helmet, on the where it fits around your head. It's also got an adjustable prong for the head size, so... No matter if you've got a big head, small head, me, whatever you've got, it will fit you. Universal, one, one size fits all, just adjust it when you get there, uh, when you get it. And this, this face um, gasket, you can replace them. It comes, there's buttons around it and you just undo the prongs at the side and take that off. If it did become ripped or it wasn't operating correctly or this, this um, elastic was impaired by anything whatever that's where that's what you do you would change the whole system so yes we've gone through all of that that the visor and I just want to show you the difference between you saw the the display at the front at the beginning with the normal standard glasses and the normal um, respiratory mask um, have that steamed up straight away. Now I'm going to show you the benefits of this. I'm in a concealed unit when I've got it on. I've got full face protection. Full face protection, that's all the forehead, the top of the head, you've got the sides, your ears are protected. Everything, nothing, nothing's gonna get in. All the way around to the top of the head, everything. Um, the lungs are protected, but not from uh, chemical vapours. Um, so just keep that in mind, not from chemical vapours. So I'm going to show you now, I'm going to put this mask on and I'm going to show you how much it steams up straight away. I'm going to blow profusely into it, get the steam around the mask and I'm going to switch it on and I'm going to show you in, in real time exactly how quick it clears it defogs itself and you're away. So I'm going to pop it on and we'll go. I'll show you that straight away. Okay, so we're on. I'm going to blow into it. As you can see now, I've started getting steam into the um, into the visor. All I'm going to do, you can get it all in there. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Uh, 
and there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing now. Seconds it takes. There we go, you saw that. Absolutely nothing. And you've got that small buzzing of the uh, the motor in the background when I've been concentrating on a workpiece. It's not been a big problem for me. Some, I mean, like I said before, you can get um, ear defense for this product. Um, so if you don't want the buzzing of the motor, it's very gentle, it's not loud at all. Um, so I don't think it's not gonna affect your ear in, in any way. Um, it's below, way below the uh, standard of uh, hearing. Um, the decibels, so I'm not quite sure what that is, but I know it's well below. Um, so, on that note, that is the review on the Trend Air Shield Pro. If anybody wants to protect themselves and the in the production of the work that they're doing, tradesmen. Um, especially people kitchen fitters that are using routers um, that have got the MDF particles, um, the uh, chipboard particles, all the, the man-made fibres, uh, the glues and everything that, are, that stick it all together, everything, all the dust particles, um, all the spores that you get from wet timber, mouldy timber, um, it, nothing's get, nothing is getting through this mask. So this is for me, it is like I've said before, this is a game changer for me. This is going to help me no end. My lungs are going to be fine. My face protection, I know that I've always got my face protection. You only get one set of eyes in this life. And if you damage them, the things that you love to do, you won't be able to do them anymore because you won't have any eyes. So leave me a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more of these tool reviews, nice, simple, easy tool reviews, honest tool reviews, not paid by trend. I've seen plenty of videos on people doing tool reviews and they go on and on and on. They beat around the bush. They, they, try, they sell it, trying to sell you a product. This is a genuine, I say genuine tool review proper tool review from a proper genuine person that just wants to protect themselves. £200, you can get it cheaper from Trend Direct from themselves, uh, even if they've got um, offers on. I don't know if that was an offer that I saw, but it may have gone up, it may have gone down, I'm not sure, but you're shooting for around the £200 mark. For this kind of respiratory system, you can pay in excess of £500, £600, 800 You can keep going. But this was right in my price range for what I want. And if it's in your price range, the Trend Air Shield Pro is definitely the mask for you. So on that note, click the notification bell for when I next do a video and you'll be notified straight away. I've got here a piece that I put together yesterday. It's a mammoth piece. Probably one of the biggest pieces I've turned up to yet. We've got... Iroco, um, Iroco oak, walnut and cherry. This is 400 mil high by 150 by 150. I'm going to be turning this on the lathe as soon as the glue's dried. And I'm confident that it's not going to blow to bits once I hit it with the chisels. So if you do want to see the process of what those 15, how many have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Those 18 glued together pieces of timber are going to turn out like. Just subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. You don't have to keep, you don't have to think to yourself, has he put the video on? Hasn't he put the video on? Click that notification bell. You'll be notified straight away. So just click that subscribe to the channel that's a tool review an honest tool review um so that's all that aside i don't think i've missed anything um stay safe everyone and get yourself a decent bit of kit like that if you can afford it if you don't think that your eyes and your lungs are worth the money then don't um carry on with the old system the mask and the goggles for me Waste of time. I wish that I'd have known about this Air Shield Pro beforehand. 
It has been out a number of years. I think it's probably been out around about 10 years. Um, this is the second the second one, I think it is. They did, they did do a Mark 1, the first one. Uh, I think this is the second one. It might be the third. I think there is another one that may be a bit more expensive. But um, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Have a good Sunday, everybody. See you later.